What we're going for here is what you're seeing on the on the patient's left, on the right of your screen, on the, the left side of the patient. And um, and there's this, this, again, nodule that's present right above the left clavicle. You could say that it's a supraclavicular area. Ooh. And there is a structure there that collects lymph from your body and uh, into what's called a, into a lymph node. So you have a, an enlarged supraclavicular lymph node. That's what's called Verkhal's node. So great job, you guys. And I, I love seeing people chime in with gastric cancer. It's exactly right. Yeah. So you can have reactive lymphadenopathy in different parts of your body. And, and that can mean many different things. But if it's happening in your supraclavicular lymph node, it's always pathologic. So this needs to be biopsy. This patient needs a workup for, for an underlying occult malignancy. And, and a lot of your gastro, upper gastrointestinal tract will drain, the lymphatics will drain into that. And so, uh, and so what you have to worry about is, is specifically stomach cancer is going to be the most common association. Be careful because I, I, I feel like I vaguely remember from undergrad or, or maybe even before about like maybe biology class about this Verkout guy way back in the day. And he, he did a lot of stuff and that doesn't help us now because he threw his name on everything. So just be careful. It's, I think you ran into the same problem with Trousseau sign and Trousseau. AJ. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I don't, um, I don't know who they were, but they, they were clearly very smart. So Verkout's triad is, uh, is where you're thinking about hyper at the, the predisposition to a clot. And that's the combination of stasis. If you have blood sitting around, it's likely to clot. If you have some kind of underlying hypercoagulability like factor V Leiden or um, OCP use or things like that. And then endothelial injury. So the combination of those three things are kind of the, the triangle that hones in on a, on a clot. Um, Great, great job, you guys. You're so on. Yeah. I think a couple of people had mentioned JVP, and that's a good thought. The JVP is honestly easier to see on the right because those the veins are going to be more uh, vertically oriented in the area, and you really have to see some degree of pulsation to know exactly what you're looking at. So a still image you might be able to extrapolate, but it'd be hard to completely pick out a, a JVP just from a, um, a still. Just saw a thyroglossal duct cyst. Not okay. a bad thought. I'd expect it to be a little more midline, but branchial cleft cyst in the right clinical scenario, uh, I would buy. Yes, these, those are you think more about in, um, in kids instead of a, an older adult like this patient. 